save your life. We're live. Afternoon, good morning, uh, welcome back <laughs> to this uh, monthly event uh, here in Brighton. I'm David Good from the Morning Prison, and uh, what we're doing tonight is uh, like we did last night, last month, uh, we did an hour of uh, songs and uh, a QA, and a I suppose you would say. Uh, we're, we're, <laughs> every time we do this, we seem to add another channel, so this time we're on Twitter, uh, Facebook. Instagram and YouTube. We've hopefully you can check that <laughs> uh, because the uh, we recently uh, found the password or managed to access our, our accounts at YouTube. It's called Wedding Present TV. So Melanie, our bass player, has spent a long time uh, kind of sorting it out really and uh, adding some videos and stuff. And uh, so hopefully we'll we'll be on there as well now. Uh, the reason why I started off with that particular song, which is called At the Edge of the Sea, I think it was the B-side of uh, our second single, maybe, in 1986, uh, was because it's also the name of my annual festival in Brighton, uh, which has been annual for the last 12 years, I think, 11 years. Uh, the 12th one should have been this year, obviously, and it's been postponed, so it's not annual anymore, it's biannual at the moment, uh, until 2021. But obviously the venue has closed down because of the uh, COVID situation. So th this is a fundraiser for the event staff at uh, the Concord Sea here in Brighton where the, where the festival takes place. And yeah, you might have spotted this behind me. If you want to donate any money, this is all free to watch obviously, but if you want to donate to the, uh, the venue in Brighton, it's PayPal dot me dot 
Concord T hole one word there with no digit T at the end of it. Uh, right, so we've got requests and questions, I think. Oh yeah, I was going to say, uh, we were going to play Take Fountain this year at the end of the zoo. Uh, which is our album from 2001. Come here quiet please in the studio. What are you doing? You're eating peanut butter from a jar with a spoon. And you're how professional. Oh, you're keeping your dog quiet. Okay. You can wipe this guy. Uh, yes, we were going to do Take Fountain. And I don't think you should be eating that. I can, I can hear it even. So I don't want people at home going to be thinking. Uh, so I thought I'd do a couple of songs from that album. We are going to do it next year, anyway, so, uh, 2021, as I said. Uh, this is one of them. So this was requested by Matt Nash. It's, uh, it's for you. I've played this for a while, so let's see how it goes. Maybe with some water. Oh. Hope everybody's well, by the way, and, uh, Getting used to this new normality we've got. Now it's a year But then you didn't need me to say that Cause you already knew Still together. I don't care at all. Well, I'm just wondering whether you think you and he will ever be together. Classic Simon Cleave song, actually. They're all, they're all like that. 
Oh, apparently, I've been told by my so-called producer that uh, YouTube's not working. <laughs> Why is that then? Oh, because my iPad's so old. Yeah. Oh, well, sorry about that. It's always down to the three. <laughs> so the rest of us can stick with it. Uh, have we got any questions? Any will do. Uh, there's no name on this first one. Are Northerners more friendly than Southerners? Hmm. Well, I can't alienate one half of the uh, of the nation, can I? So I can't really comment on that one. But of course we are. Uh, from Chrissy in Newlyn, are you doing a Sea Monster 20th anniversary tour? Uh, yes, I think we probably. Well, actually, 20th anniversary, we did it in. Uh, <laughs> 1912, uh, 12, surely. 20, yeah, this, is a, this would be a 30th anniversary. Is that your, is that a bad question or is that your bad uh, type? We'll do a third, so we, we have done, we didn't do a 20th anyway, we did a 21st anniversary. But we, we will do a 30th anniversary so next year uh, if the venue is open again. And in fact, uh, we will be playing it at, at the edge of the sea as well as take down, take down the Friday night. Sea Monsters on the Saturday night, so we'll see you there. Of course, I should play a song from Sea Monsters now, shouldn't I? Did we have one? Yes, we did. Scott Valverde. Is that how you pronounce your name? And he, re he requested a Rotterdam, so let me see if I can find that one. I did think you were saying Talk amongst yourselves for a second. Right, Rotterdam, there it is. Now this one is very low in the register than the original, so I thought I'd do it with Capo. Capo, if you're American. Which uh, makes it a bit <coughs> easier to sing. So yes, from the album Sea Monsters, Let's just watch it. Whoa. 
And I, 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 we need those fake uh, audience noises that they're going to have in the football. That doesn't sound like an empty stadium. Start that off next time. Ah, I like it, I like it, I like it. All right, uh, that's a book. Questions. John Wilberforce. John Wilberforce. What's your favourite Bond theme? Mmm, I like loads, so many of them. I mean, I'm, I'm a man, as you probably know, I'm a massive fan of the, the James Bond soundtracks. John Barry ones, uh, particularly. I actually, I think my favourite theme is the actual, the, the actual, you know. <laughs> the actual James Bond theme. Written by Monty Norman, apparently, not Sir John Barry, but he arranged it. Although there's, there's apparently legal uh, disputes about that one. Probably not getting to that. <clears throat> That's one. I like the model, I like you and live twice, I like Dan's are forever. <laughs> Don't like Moonraker. Right, let's see. So the other thing about I Did You To See is uh, that Cinerama, my other band, plays. Play. The only time we ever play really these days. <coughs> and obviously we're not going to play this year, so I thought I'd consider on the song. Uh, I think there's a request for this one as well. Let me see. Oh, Gareth Lewis. Uh, it's called Wow. You've avoided questions that could have used me spot the moon. Where does my girlfriend work? And what's her favourite food? I think I know someone who could give me an alibi. So, yeah, I think I just proved that I'm quite prepared to lie. But there's nothing quite like a secret rendezvous. Boring, which is me. 
That's got a wow. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> oh dear, let me see what you've got. Birthday requests. Blimey. <laughs> Recycling. You can, you can put two on one page, you know. Happy birthday to Serge Bammy. Alright? Serge Bammy. Okay. He, he, he or she, I don't know, is that a male or female? Uh, he, they requested uh, Cinerama, so there you go. That's good time, is that how he did it? Oh, it's not just thrown together, is it, this uh, event? Yes. And uh, happy birthday, Philip Dolding. No request to touch the level. <coughs> Let me see, I've done that, I've done this. Oh, here's, here's a question then. Here's a question from... Shane Pomfret. These names, where do they get these names? Pomfret. Are you setting me up here? These are weird names you're making up. There's been a lot of stuff, funny stuff, unpronounceable. Why can't this be called John Smith? Just wondering, did anyone ever try to do a hip parade since? And would you try it again? Uh, I presume you mean the 12 singles in uh, a calendar year, a record. Top uh, 12 top 40 hits in a single year, only equaled by Elvis Presley. You mean that, don't you, really? Uh, I don't know. I think Ash, didn't Ash do something like that? Didn't they do 26 singles, though? On, uh, so, or was it a tour? I can't remember. Maybe someone is, I'm sure there's somebody on the internet who knows the answer. Not to my knowledge. Would we do it again? I, I, there's part of me that would like to have another go, just because I like doing a series, I would like to do a series of seven inch singles, to be honest with you, and I, I like the way that it all kind of came together and the, you know, the, I'm a big fan of production, so the box and the, the matching sleeves and the rest of it, I, I like to like. However, I think the part of the beauty of it was it, 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 the fact that it was a unique uh, series, really, and I think to, to, to do it again would probably devalue it and... Uh, it wouldn't really achieve anything with that, maybe. I should do a hit parade song, shouldn't I? Then? Was there a hit parade song requested? There was, actually. Come play with me. Robert Negri. Let's have a look at that one. For those of you who don't know, Can Play With Me is the, the wedding present's uh, greatest hit so far. There's all the time. There's still time, Number 10 in May 1992 in the British Top 40. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Pardon? <coughs> I think my producer, my, uh, producer's trying to communicate with me. What were they saying? Why do you ever want to be heard? Why do you ever want your voice to be heard on the... Because uh... <laughs> believe me, when these are all switched off, it's never ended. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Have I got a sore throat? Did I have a sore throat last time as well? It's because we're not rehearsing, so I'm not, I'm not singing every day. This is in 6-8 uh, timing, for those of you who... Throw it away, it smells like a new reader. It's something she wrote just to ruin my day. Now you understand. Are you sure you want to hear? Or she stormed out with the fire. Now I not her on this, but she was always doing that, oh, she stayed there, but you should have seen the smile, but she said, should I go, should I walk out, we sat for a while, 
Why did we say yes or no? Well, we just I'm sure that she meant every word that she said, but there are no more excuses to invent again and again. Just a closed door, and we can't go on. And no one's to blame. These things happen. I didn't need any. Until the day that you came And I looked in your eyes When I saw you When I saw you It's over, oh it's over It's over, yeah it's over Now come play with me It's over, oh it's over It's over, yes it's over down there as well for uh, California from Orlando whose uh, birthday it is. Sorry, that one missed it. Oh, that's alright. Next time, next time, maybe next time. So yes, many happy returns to everybody's birthday it is today. We're impartial to Italian wine, must be said, the last couple of weeks. I don't know why. There's also a little bit of a fizz to it, effervescence, I think it's called, but uh, I don't know why it's really acquired a taste. Well, they've acquired a taste for wine in general, but especially Italian wine. Let's have another question. <clears throat> Gareth Hardwick, you're up, Gareth. That's more like it, that's a normal name I can read and pronounce. If you hadn't set off to London with a bag full of go out and get and buy demos, well, it was actually uh, seven singles, and it was from London, actually, was it? I think I picked them up in London and brought them back up to uh, Yorkshire so we could take them to... Uh, sorry to be so specific here, but let's get the story right, eh, Gareth? So, if you hadn't set off, set off from London with a bag full of go out and go, get and buy seven inch singles, do you think you would have still have pursued a career in music? Or would you have chosen any other career? Hmm. I think I might have said this before, but I feel like uh, I've always thought, I've always, it sounds a bit weird, it sounds a bit kind of big-headed or something, but I've always known I would do this. I, there was never any question. From the minute I, you know, 
first put a seven inch single onto a record player when I was about five years old. This is what I wanted to do. So I, I didn't really, I went to university, I did mathematics, and because I'm sensible, I thought if I don't make it, if I don't make uh, being a professional musician my career, I'd have something to fall back on. But I don't, I'm not sure I would have ever used mathematics because it's a bit boring, really. I only, I only did it because I found it uh, quite easy. So I, I don't think I would have been an accountant or a teacher. No patience. Uh, I probably would have been a de tried to have been a DJ because <laughs> again, you know, playing records on the radio. What a great job! But uh, never, never. What else would I have done? Oh, have I ever suggested anything to you, producer? What would I have done if I had not been a musician? No, I'm not going to say that. <laughs> Every time I'm going to see you watch a, a detective uh, drama, I always think, uh, I could do that. Not an actor, uh, a uh, detective. I've got an analytical mind, so I think I could have... Uh, probably overconfident there, really. Right then, so that was time for a song, eh? Let's crack on. How are we doing for time? Don't you know, there's no, stu there's no studio clock, is there? Halfway through? Good. Not good because I want to finish it, but uh, I'm, I'm always mindful of the Instagram people. I've only got an hour. So let's see what do we do. Lee Rothwell. There's a town near Leeds called Rothwell. Lee, I don't know if you're aware of that. You want to hear what have I said now? I think we could have a go at that one. Let me take the right a bit closer because I'm nervous. <clears throat> Last words. About what I said just before, you know, your clothes on the floor. I never meant to hurt you, oh, carried away. I guess I've had a long day. If I could sooner die than lose you, oh, something like that. Oh, please, let's sign the shot back. Sometimes you forget and I look how you're upset Let's talk about it later Why can't I ever say what I mean? Why can't I ever say what I mean? I 
it's too fast actually, it's <laughs> wearing me out. YouTube uh, channel. I don't know if you saw. We did. Uh, we've done a couple of songs. Uh, I'm calling it lockdown and stripped back because we've recorded them in here. Basically, I did. I recorded it with this guitar with this microphone into my computer, my my bit, and then all the other three members of the wedding present did the same. And we've uh, we just did it. We we sent them all to somebody to mix them together. And then uh, we filmed it on these these iPhones. So we did a, a version of Granada Land, which is still on the, uh, the YouTube channel. Wedding Present TV. I'm sure you can just search it if you want to see that. Somebody said we faked it. Somebody said, oh yes, a lot of camera angles. And uh, it sounded too good or something. I go, well, we're a good group. <laughs> That's why it sounded good. My, I, mine was a first take, playing and singing. Better than tonight, to be honest with you. I didn't have wine on that occasion. And uh, multiple cal uh, camera angles. <laughs> camels. Multiple camera angles was basically two iPhones. <laughs> but yeah, it's all very high tech. Can you imagine doing this in the past? You know, 10 years ago, 20 years ago, we wouldn't have dreamed that we could do I could speak to you all, the nation. Not just this nation as well, across the world. Hello to everybody in Australia and Japan who got up really early to watch. And I just watched it on the replay. What time is it? What time is it in uh, Australia and Japan? It's middle of the night, isn't it? Because it's early. It's quite early morning in California. You're saying, crack on. No, three o'clock in the morning, is that what you're saying? If you do mirror writing, if you could not do that, you have to do the other way around because it was they look backwards to me. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Mark Foreman, please say hi to my wife Jane. She's doing a twelve-hour shift at the Queen Elizabeth Hospital in Kings Lynn. From Facebook. <laughs> I don't know why I meant to ask her. Yes. Uh, hello, Jane. She won't be watching her. She's working, will she? Thanks again to all the NHS and all the health service people around the world, Australia, Japan, America, Canada, for all their uh, hard work, and across Europe as well. I'm just so, I'm just so well known around the world these days, like it's hard to keep it up. It's not South America though, but nobody ever, ever watches from South America. Let's do another Take Fountain song. I've got a hankering for a, another Take Fountain song. Why are you covering up my stuff? Wow, the questions are flying in this week, aren't they? This week. <laughs> Not making it a week, please, too much. <laughs> I put that a bit far. Is that going to be in the camera? In the camera shot? Now? Was the quiet one. When I back the doors and accidentally. Oh, we had a request for this one, didn't we? Uh, they're all requests, they're all requests. Where is it? Can't find it. Oh, it's the quiet one. Oh, there you go. Alan Unthank. Going back to the weird names again, are we? Uh, thanks for that, Alan Unthank. Thanks for the request. Can't get my nerve again, man. I help at the doors. Uh, good song though, this Alan, it's a good choice. And accidentally, my hand touched yours. You smiled. Left my voice, so it's 
Emily Jane Ty on Facebook says, please could I, could, I, could I say hi to Harry? It will make his day. Hi, Harry. Where's Facebook? Where is Facebook? Harry, it's you I'm talking to. Hello. Uh, <coughs> so, Ali the cat dog. <laughs> is that all right? Yeah. Ali the cat dog on Instagram. Can you cover something by such small hands? It is Mel you're sending these, eh? <laughs> I, 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 it's difficult enough playing my own songs, to be honest with you. And uh, she should do one. Melanie, you do one next week. As, as Melanie said, it sounded okay on the various uh, formats. Uh, okay, Robert Burniston. I know that name. Any chance David could say hello to Deborah in Alloway? Hello, Deborah, in Alloway. All the way up to Alloway. Sorry about that, I'm like the radio team. Right, let's go back to George Best. And uh, this is for, I think I did this last time, but it doesn't matter, does it really? There's no rules anymore, is there? Let's face it, it's a canarchy. Margie McLeod, this is especially for you. The 
pretty times I've been trying to catch your eye You made it all worthwhile And you return my smile By the door, you know I'd really like to talk some more. I don't be worried about your friend. I think she'll have some time writing the ten. What was it meaning? You're not like anyone I've ever met. From Barney McGrew uh, on Twitter, when you wrote, do you see much of Charlie over here, was that a drug reference? It absolutely wasn't a drug reference, no. Uh, uh, it was a, we used to uh, stay with a, a friend of our bass player, Keith's, called Charles, Charles Gant, and he, uh, I think he's now uh, like a film reviewer for something really fancy. Radio Times or something like that. He was a very nice fella. And, uh, well, is he there? <laughs> and it was, yeah, it was, uh, so it was a reference to him. I have to put people in the songs that uh, I know. And uh, have you watched any 80s sci fi lately? Just watch UFO again. That's not 80s sci fi, UFO, is it? That's uh, 70s, wasn't it? Sorry, I'm being picky again, but I've actually, I bought a, a, a compla compilation DVD of UFO. You know, it's the Jerry Anderson uh, series, in case you don't know. And uh, really enjoyed watching it, watching it, the, you know, the first whatever. And it ended halfway through. And then I realised it was only half the series. And I got it in America, so it's not like I could go back and get another one, because I have to buy the second half at one point. But that was disappointing. We haven't watched it since. Uh, right, 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 right. right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, you, I'm just worried about getting uh, From Gavin in Birmingham, ever since the, this one you want me to read? Yeah, but ever since the last album, Going Going, I had this nagging fear. Is it really a nagging fear, Gavin? Mm. Or is that an exaggeration? That you will release one more album entitled Gone. I thought of that actually, it'd be pretty good, wouldn't it? 
and that would be that would be the end of it. Yeah, I might do that. <laughs> I'm getting on a bit now. Should you be worried, Gavin? No, I don't know. I never put. I never plan. Planning's not for me. Planning's for architects or teachers or any other people who use math degrees. I'm a pop star. I just you know I put one at the moment. We're working on new songs for another album. Although we can't rehearse them, so we can't record them. <laughs> Social uh, distancing, as it is. Let's do another Cinerama song. I like this one. This has got this is a. Oh right, okay. Ten minutes left on Instagram. That should be okay. That should be all right. Can you, th can you tell this programme's thrown together? I should advise you to watch, uh, we, we played at a festival in Yorkshire a couple of times ago with the Long Division Festival, and uh, they're, they're, they're doing a virtual festival on uh, this coming weekend. It will be a lot more professional than this, I can tell you. But they're also going to show another of those uh, videos that I mentioned the other day, the, earlier, the lockdown and stripped back. I think I gave them Crawl on that one, so if you want to see Crawl, watch their uh, thing. I made a note somewhere. Oh yeah, from 8 o'clock on Saturday, 6th of June, and it's LD TV, LD colon TV, so I thought that we could just lie here, but yes, I know how you are dancing. Freshly shaven legs into the clean coat sheets I put on just for you. With every single touch, my love for you just doubles. But of course, none of this has happened. forthcoming events, as well as the LDTV thing. Those of you on Twitter might uh, already know that Tim Burgess from the Charlatans does these listening parties, and uh, Sea Monsters is going to be the one on Monday night at 10 p.m., 8th of June, and I'll be tweeting along, I don't know what I'm going to do exactly, but uh, I'm sure it'll be a fantastic quality, as is everything else that we do here. From David Worcester, was the British music press's anti antipathy towards wedding present the night is frustrating for the band? Kind of, yeah. Because I think we've got, gotten better and better over the years, and uh, all, all the music press was interested in was in the first kind of two albums, really. 
But that's the way of the, of the pop game, really, isn't it? Uh, I think we've got time for a couple more. Let's see how we can steer it. Do, do, do. Got some more requests for this next one. Again, I did this last time, but it's for Alan Clark, and it's it was his birthday on June the first. Oh, before I forget, Dance Girl Dance was for Simon McMahon. Happy birthday for June the third, and Alan Clark, happy birthday for June the first. It's like a family favourites now, isn't it? Then I learned, and he went past it. tomorrow I think that's about it really it's going to be such a lot of tidying up to do in this room 
We'll leave you with this one. Oh yes, don't forget to donate to uh, the uh, events people who put the, put the events on <laughs> at the uh, Concord 2 here in Brighton. It's a lovely venue. It's actually now the venue that I've played more than any other place in the world because it used to be the, the, the lead mill in Sheffield which is another great venue. But uh, because we do at the edge of the sea here every year and sometimes, well, it's now on two, two days, Friday night and Saturday, I had the genius idea of doing a one and a half day festival and it's paid off. Uh, anyway, I, did, I digress. So Concord 2 is we... Uh, <laughs> So we, that's what we do out there to see, and uh, it's closed down for the moment. So there you go. If you'd like to donate, paypal.me.ne/slash Concord Two. And uh, anything else I need to say before we disappear into the uh, evening? <laughs> I think I got, I was a bit nervous at the beginning. Did you, could you tell? I think I was making more mistakes, but I got into it a bit later on, so. If you're gonna watch it on replay, just watch the second half. Right. There was a request for this one, I think it was uh, Mark, BBC Mark. Mark Settle. Is that right? You might say perfect blue. Actually, this was the most requested song, actually. Oh, yeah, I've written them all down, in fact. So, of, of all the requests you've had for this instalment of uh, Stay In and Get In By, I didn't make it up. I didn't make it up. Somebody else made it up. I, I just so uh, This was the most requested song. Uh, I said to uh, Mark, also Deborah Cox, Andrew Wilson, Susie Marik, Marik, or Marik, uh, Stefan Cockerell Pro, John Simpson, Paula Wiseman, Susie Marik again, I don't know why she's on here twice, Jessica, <coughs> John Wilberforce. So all those people don't mind screaming out like so uh, in disdainfully. Uh, <laughs> Got perfect blue, and I will leave you with this one. Stay safe, take care. You've done really well so far. And when I turn round to glance at you, you're staring. Oh, yes, BBC Mark said he would donate 50 pounds if I played this. So, there you go. I want to, I'll be, I'll be checking those figures later, Mark. And when I turn round to glance at you, you're staring. And your eyes are such perfect blue that I can't look away. Did I get shy? Maybe I didn't make it clear. But darling, I... Like something's missing. That sounds trippy, but I swear it's true. You just feared and know it wasn't a last It really was no warning. Now you're the first thing in my head each morning, and the more I Just 
what I did to deserve you. My complaint, God forbid, I just don't understand. Tell me why haven't you had enough of me? I'm